Bloody man is that. This is the sergeant that fought against my captivity. Say to the king the knowledge of the broils thou didst to leave it. Doubtful it stood. The merciless MacDonald from the western isles of Kearns and Galaglasses is supplied, and fortune on his damned quarrel smiling shored like a rebel's whore. But ours too weak. For brave Macbeth, well he deserves that name, disdaining fortune with his brandished steel, which smoked with bloody execution like Valor's minion card without his passage till he faced the slave, which ne'er shook hands with him nor bade farewell till he unseamed him from the nave to the chops and fixed his head upon our battlements. O oh, valiant cousin, worthy gentleman. Mark, King of Scotland, Mark. No sooner justice had with valor armed compelled these skip and kerns to trust their heels, but the Norwegian lord, surveying vantage with furbished arms and new supplies of men, began a fresh assault. Dismayed not this our captains, Macbeth and Banquo. Yes, as sparrows, eagles, or the hare, the lion. If I say sooth, I must report they were as cannons overcharged with double cracks, so they. Doubly, redouble strokes upon the foe, except they meant to bathe in a reeking wounds or memorize another Golgotha that I cannot tell. But I am faint, my gashes cry for help. So well thy words become thee as thy wounds, they smack of honor both. Go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, get him, sergeant. Who comes here? The worthy Thane of Ross. Good haste looks through his eyes, though. God save the king. Whence came thou, worthy thing? From Fife, great king, where the Norwegian banners flout the sky and fan our people cold. Norway himself, with terrible numbers, assisted by that most disloyal traitor, the Thane of Cawdor, began a dismal conflict. Till that Bellona's bridegroom, brave Macbeth, confronted him with self-comparisons, point against point. Rebellious arm against arm, curbing his lavish spirit. And to conclude, the victory fell on us. Great happiness. That now, Sweno, the Norway's king, craves composition. Nor would we deign him burial of his men till he disbursed at said Comis inch ten thousand dollars to our general use. No more that thing of Cordor shall deceive our bosom interest. Go, pronounce his present death, and with his former title greet, Macbeth. I'll see it done. What he hath lost, noble Macbeth hath won. Mm.